Hi, I love you. Today we're making a smashed, smashed cucumber. I got it, I got it, I got it. It's a smashed cucumber and green bean sesame salad. It's delicious, we're gonna use sesame oil. I'm super excited about it. We're gonna blanch some green beans. We're gonna use some beautiful Persian cucumbers. Look at these cuties. Now, bear in mind, you don't have to use these small cucumbers if you don't want to. I personally think smaller the better. It's just uh, how I like some things. I like some things big, but I like my cucumbers small, okay? But if you only have large cucumbers, that's perfectly fine. So we're just gonna chop these cucumbers on the bias like this. We're gonna smash them. The reason we're gonna smash them, I love to smash. I really do. I love all forms and facets of smashing. Right, Chris? Yes, baby. Yeah, we love to smash in this house. Seriously, the smashing really helps the, the really yummy sauce dressing that we're gonna make soak into the crevices, the nooks and crannies. And I love that. We're gonna use some radishes in here. It's gonna be wonderful. We're also gonna get a muddle going, because like I said, we're gonna smash. Now, I have seen a few people when they smash up cucumbers, put them in a Ziploc bag and take a rolling pin to them. That's perfectly fine, that's fine. I just don't have any Ziploc bags and I just think this is a really simple, easy way to do this that doesn't require another bowl and a bag and all the stuff. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna salt these. Salt them real good, okay? And we're gonna go in with a muddler and we're just gonna muddle. Doesn't need to be perfect. You just wanna get a good smash going, break them up. Ooh. Maybe you make a mess, that's perfectly fine. You don't need to smash all of them up. We're also gonna smash one more time. This is kind of what we want. We want them to kind of look like this. Imperfect is the goal, right? We want it to kind of look, look this, like this. So as these sit in salt, they're gonna break up a lot easier. Get out some aggression. It's great. So set these aside. Set these aside. Set your smashed cukes aside. And now, the green bean. We've got some salted boiling water. Hear me out, please, please. Jesus Christ, please. Salt the water. Salt it. Put salt in the water. And I mean like a good amount of salt. People was like, oh, put a pinch. No, put a salt in there. What the salt's gonna do, it's gonna make your green beans taste better. A1, day one, that's number one what it's gonna do. But it's also gonna keep your green beans nice and green, okay? We're gonna blanch 90 seconds. We're not trying to cook these all the way soft. 90 seconds, we just want al dente. Right? Al dente green beans, al dente pasta, al dente rice, al dente bean, right? That's what we want. So they're gonna do their thing, then we're gonna drain them. This would be the part where you do the ice bath. I don't have any ice. Uh, fresh out of ice in my house, so we're not gonna use an ice bath, but I encourage you in your home to use an ice bath, which would mean drain directly into ice. What does the ice do? It shocks the cooking, it keeps the green beans from cooking any further. While those are doing what they're doing, we're gonna build our sauce, sauce, okay? It's all gonna go in the bowl, which is why this is so fabulous. We're gonna use two of my very favorite kitchen tools, which would be a microplane and a very heavy handled whisk. I like a heavy handled whisk because it gives you a lot of control when you're doing your dressing. And I love a microplane because damn it, it makes every kind of choppy choppy really easy. Example, garlic, right? Look at this. Wow, ain't that something? Ain't that something, right? Just right in. So you don't have to get your cutting board all garlicky, unless you like that kind of thing. Which like, listen, I say all the time, you should definitely have a cutting board that is just for garlic and onions. I know you're thinking, really so? Do I really need that? I really think you do. So, let's take a look into our green beans bowl. And you can see, look at the green color. The salt really, really, really helps with this green color. More aromatics, we've got some ginger. Now, it's kind of up to you on how much ginger you want in your dressing. I like it gingery. I'm, like, I'm talking like two tablespoons. I love it gingery. Utilizing your microplane makes this very simple. See, right into the bowl, you see that? So simple. We're gonna strain our green beans. Very simple, here, right over. Love it. Now this would be the part where you put your green beans in the ice bath like I mentioned, but like I said, I don't have any ice right now. So these are gonna continue to cook. So I kind of took them out about 20, 30 seconds sooner than I should have, just cause I know they're gonna sit here, they're gonna continue to cook. 
Let them cool, don't worry about them. We're still building our dressing. We've got some rice wine vinegar. I personally think the rice wine vinegar tastes really nice with the sesame. If you don't have any sesame, don't stress yourself out about it. We also have some toasted sesame oil. Now, hear me out, a little goes a very long way. This is about one teaspoon, which doesn't seem like a lot, but I promise you it's very strong flavor. Little goes a long way. Toasted sesame is one of my favorite smells. The smell, yum, delicious. We've got a little bit of maple. If you wanna use honey, that's your business. Also, have some Dijon mustard. I am using two different emulsifiers. Emulsifiers, I'm sure you're very clear and open with what those are. They are thickeners. They help keep your dressings emulsified. So we're using a heaping tablespoon of Dijon just because I love that flavor. It is my fave. And then we're also using some white miso. If you want to use adzuki bean miso, that's your business. We're also going to use a lot of coconut aminos. This is about a third a cup coconut aminos, but if you only have soy sauce or nama shoyu or tamari, that's perfectly fine. Right in the bowl. We're also going to use some full fat coconut milk. You'll notice I use this ingredient a lot. It's just delicious. It's actually a third emulsifier, actually, because this full fat coconut milk is so nice and thick and rich. We're gonna use some pine nuts because these are what I happen to have. I love adding nuts or crunch or texture directly to a dressing. I think it's a really yummy way of making sure that every single bite has a bit of crunch in it. These are some toasted pine nuts that I happen to have left over. So those are gonna go in. And then we're also gonna use some hemp seeds. It's about a tablespoon of hemp seeds. Just really nice for crunch. We're gonna go in with some lime zest. If you have a lemon, also great. Love that. And we're also gonna open this lime and squeeze some lime in there. I like to make sure I get the zest off first. Also, as you're turning, kind of heat up and squeeze your lime a little bit. That's gonna help some of those, what do you call that, a little juice pearl? What do you call that? You know, those like little, what do you call that? Little, sit, no? Never mind. Um, I don't know. I literally, a juice pearl, you don't like that? <laughs> I like a juice pearl. Yeah, me too. Just helps warm those up a little bit. So let's just, this is a pretty juicy lime. So I'm just gonna use the half. I love a mandolin for many reasons. Um, but most notably, it just gets things really nice and thin. I also love it spicy, and I just think this looks really pretty. So I'm actually gonna just mandolin some jalapeno, and you'll notice I'm not even taking the seeds out because bitch likes it spicy, okay? Bitch likes it heat. I like it hot, sweating, my mouth on fire, love that, okay? So what we have here is some sesame oil. <sighs> Full confession, this is actually olive oil. Okay, I want you to believe that it's sesame oil. Um, it's not, and I just can't lie, because God damn it, I just can't afford the karma. Uh, I really can't. So just pretend that this is sesame oil, because the whole point is that this is a, it's a smashed cucumber green bean sesame salad. So just pretend that this is sesame oil. Remember, we use the toasted sesame oil. So pretend that this is also sesame oil, okay? So what we're gonna do is we're gonna get this whole situation station really nice and mixed up, okay? Now remember, we got a lot of stuff going on in here, so it's not gonna look super, super smooth. Remember, we've got the hemp seeds, we've got the pine nuts, we've got the mandolin slices of jalapeno, so it's not gonna look super, super smooth, but that's okay, because we want all that texture. It goes really, really great with our green beans. Okay, so keeping this spinning, you gotta keep this, you gotta keep this going, okay? Slowly pour the oil in, slowly until it's all gone, okay? This is a fourth a cup of sesame oil, okay? Get it, keep it, keep it, keep it. And the reason you wanna do this is we've got all of our emulsifiers in this bowl, right? And so after we're done, right? Gorgeous, keep it up, keep spinning, keep it up. See how nice and gorgeous that is? Nice and thick, baby. Love that. Uh-huh, I'm gonna give it a little. It's perfect. It doesn't need anything. Wow, that is so good. So now we're gonna put everything in the bowl, okay? So we've got some radishes here that my lovely, lovely assistant Danny picked up. And we're gonna mandolin those in right into the bowl. Like I love this salad because you just build it all. 
it's okay. Just build it all. I love it. Remember those green beans right into the bowl. See how this is all happening all in one bowl? Building in the bowl. If you notice our cucumbers, as you salt them, they get super, super soft, okay? That's why it's so important to salt them because they're gonna be much easier to smash. And again, like I said, the smash, you're really looking for this. This kind of texture is what you're looking for. So we've got those nice and smashed. Those are gonna go right in. We've got our little garnishes. We've got some green onion that were chopped on the bias, and we've got some basil. So what we're gonna do is we're just gonna mix this up. Look how pretty she is. Oh my gosh, gorgeous. Now this would be a fabulous place if you wanted to add some beans, if you wanted to add some rice, this would be awesome. The reason I wanted to do this is because I think I think what's happened is a lot of people think salads are really boring. They think they're all the same thing. And actually my assistant really inspired this because she is a big fan of a big, huge, heaping bowl of crunchy, crunchy, yummy, herby salad. And that's actually really challenging to find out. Um, at a lot of restaurants you see like, there's usually three salads you see. You see, you know, the Greek salad with the feta and the olives. You see, always see a Caesar salad, or you just see like a side salad, right? That's got onion, tomato, mixed greens. Those things might get a little boring. I just want to kind of let the record show that salads don't have to be boring and a few really cool techniques like smashing the cucumbers or mixing raw with blanched stuff can actually make things really exciting. So we're gonna chop some basil. This basil has seen better days, but it's what we have, right? I'm not gonna chiffonade, I'm not gonna julienne, I'm just gonna rough chop, kind of keep it kind of big. So now we're gonna plate this gorgeous, gorgeous smashed cuke moment, okay? Like how stunning is she? And you'll see what I mean with putting your nuts or seeds in the dressing. It makes such a difference in texture. You're gonna get a piece of texture in every single bite, which we love. And again, we've got the smashed cukes. We've got the really pretty mandolin radishes, which are gorgeous. So after we plate, we're gonna take our herbs, right? Just like spread them on top, right? Yum. A hefty, black pepper moment, okay? Cause I don't know about you, but I love the black pepper. I love it, love the crunch. So then what we're gonna do is we're gonna go in with a little bit of this sauce and we just wanna get some sauce and just garnish right on top. And this is like basically, this is like my assistant's like dream. Like this is her like absolute dream. This is like this idea of a salad that has to be like a weird side salad with like red onion and like big, there's nothing worse than getting a salad. You ever get those salads and they have the big fucking grape tomatoes and they don't cut them and they're just lazy salads, right? That is our smashed cucumber, green bean, sesame salad. Yum, yum, yum. I just can't, I can't lie to them. That's it, this is it. Look what we made. I made this just for Danny. I did, I made it for myself too. Oh, this is so good. Hurry up, so cute. Oh my God, I feel bad, I'm like Danny, no, oh my God. Kidding. Oh my God, this is delicious. It's so good, it's so springtime, summertime vibes. A1, day one, best salad you're ever gonna have. And I love you. Great. <laughs>